Hi guys, so my mom is going to show you how to make clothes. Okay, I have my fat quarter laid out. Uh, let me tell y'all the measurements of this one. Long ways, it's 23 and sideways, it's 18. So what I'm gonna do is, they already have these folds, so I'm gonna just fold it in half. Well, where they fold it, it's almost it, it's almost half, and I'm just cut on that fold. And then I'm going to use that for the bow tail. And then for this, I'm going to use this to make my bow. I'll tell y'all the measurements is 10 on the fold. Trash that piece. And this is going to be my bow. And that's going to be the bow tail or whatever it's called. So for the bow, you're just going to... It's on the fold, so I'm closing it. And you're going to stitch all the way around it. Leaving like a two inch opening right here. So go ahead and do that. Stitch all the way around it, leaving this part open. Just the opening so you can turn it inside out. I'm done stitching. I got my opening. And I'm just going to cut off some of this extra seam allowance. Go to our opening and flip it right side out. I did like a two inch uh, opening. And then poke your corners out. Poked out. I'm just earning it because those fat quarters come with a lot of creases as you saw in the beginning. So I'm just earning it. Earning along the edges. Then we're going to stitch that opening closed. Okay, so after I sewed that closed, what I'm going to do is fold that in half so that I can find the center. And then I'm just gonna do this weird looking, this weird type of fold. I really don't know how to explain it, but fold up, fold down. Basically, like I'm scrunching it up. Sorry, I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. So it'll look like that. I'm just going to stick a pin in it for now, like that. Then I'm getting my thread. I double needed it, double threaded it, and then I knotted it. And I'm just going to go in to secure this so it won't come undone. So I went in, 
And then I'm just going to wrap it. And then I'm going to go back in through there. And wrap it some more. And then I'm going to just pin it wherever I can and cut it off. So that's the top part of my bow. And now we just have to do the tail part. So the tail part, we're just going to grab our other piece and fold it in half right side to right side. And I'm going to From this corner, I'm just going to cut up. And then I'm going to do the same to this corner. Cut it up. And then we're going to just stitch all the way down, leaving an opening somewhere to where we can turn it inside out. So we're going to stitch that. So I sewed that and I left an opening right there. Now I just got it pinned so I can earn it. I'm just earning it flat as much as possible, especially on that seam. And then I'm going to stitch just that part closed. to the next step. Okay, and I stitched that close. Next step is fold it in half like this. Find the center and then do that fold method, or you could just do like a scrunch. But I fold it up and then fold up, fold down, fold up, fold down. That's basically what I'm doing, like that. And then we're going to do exactly what we did with the bow. Get your thread and then wrap it around a few times just to secure it so it don't move. You go in and out. As long as it's not going to move, that's good enough. And then the last step to our bow is attaching it to the bow. So right there, the bow is open. And then like that, we will attach it together. You can high glue it. Uh, I got my high glue ready. So open my bow to where it's flat at the top. 
We're going to add some hot glue. And then this part where it's flat, I'm just going to stick it on there. And let that sit. that and then for the middle get some bias tape or you can just make your own little piece out of a rectangle piece of fabric but I like to use bias tape and so that's what I'm going to use to cover that up this one is not stretched but I still can use it and I'm just going to this is going to be my front. Determine your front and your back. I will let this be my front. Or do I want this to be my front? I will let this be my front. And I'm just going to put this bias right here. To cover up that thread. And basically we're just going to. Glue them together like that. So. Pull it over and then whatever you have left, you just cut it off. I'm going to glue it some more. It go down some. Then I'm going to cut the extra off. Make sure your little piece is all the way glued down so it can be secure. And if you have any thread from where we did the little thread, just cut the thread off. And there you have it. That middle piece should hold your bow on the strap I'm just gonna glue it right there I'm putting a little glue on the back and then stick it onto the strap right there and then once it dry I might tack it in place so now that I have it on there I'm just like I told you earlier I'm gonna tack it in place with a couple stitches just for extra security. So, I can really do it. You can really just find a spot to tack it. I'm going to do it like in this crease. So, I'm just going in and out a few times and I'm going to knot it. And then I'm going to do it again on that side. And then this is complete. And there we have it. We're done. Thanks for watching.